Hi, my name is Michael Drake, I'm 23 years old. I'm a music producer and audio engineer. I went to Five Towns College for music business and audio, and uh, that's what I do. The reason why I love music is just, it takes you to a place that, that you can't reach just on this earth. It just takes you to a whole nother level, a whole nother place, and makes you feel any way you want to feel at any given time. I like, I like, I like the expression through music. That's how I feel like that's what a lot of music is missing today, expression. When I say I like everything, I like everything. I like, you know, hip hop and R&B is where I started with. I love electronic music, but not like electronic dance. I like that, but I like more intelligent electronic music. Like Burial, which is considered UK garage, two-step music, uh, drum and bass, liquid drum and bass, just, just all types of music, abstract, jazz. Any type of music that makes me feel some type of way or I can relate to, I listen to. What I like to do when making music is uh, start out with a nice chord progression. Always, always a nice chord progression. Something heartfelt. And uh, I usually start with the pads and strings. When you do that, you pretty much know your movements of the song and how you want it to sound. It's like you always want to listen to a song, you always go, oh, it's missing something, it's missing something. And you throw a pad on it and it just ties it like glue. What you hear right now is the pad and the strings together. Just making sure everything sounds right with each other. I'm a fan of bass. I love bass. It's just deep. You, you're not going to be able to hear this on the camera, but it's shaking the whole house. And it's, it's I love sub basses. They're uh, really low in frequency, but they're really, you feel, you feel them more than you hear them. And I love that about it. Any, any, any real producer would know what breaks are. Gotta have my breaks. I'm gonna add drums on this, but that's not gonna come later on to the song. But you can't have the pads and strings going out throughout, so you're gonna break them off. And now it's just a sub bass to the kit and the, and the drums. Alright, now we're gonna add the arcs or arpeggios. They're pretty much just the chords you're playing. You know, that's not the chord. They're pretty much the chords, but they're being played in a, in a rhythmic and musical order. And the more keys you add, the more it's going to arpeggiate throughout, throughout the whole key, so watch. Now it's getting bass sounds. I layer on my arpeggios, because I just love how music, how, I just love layers. You can create new musical things with just adding and layering things. Very, very musical. Almost complete. So pretty much that's, that's what I do. I go through and just keep adding ideas, adding ideas. I won't get to the last part, which is arranging. And honestly, I hate arranging because arranging takes anywhere from 15 to 15 hours to three weeks. Just, you can, there's so many ways to arrange a song. I think arranging is pretty much just placing all the sounds and all the patterns you have into a full song. It's, it's a tiring task. Right when I know I, I have to arrange, I'll just stop making a beat. I'll just go, okay, I'm done for the day. Just so I can start a day, start the next day with just me arranging. So I can just put my full-fledged effort into that. I come in, I just mess around with the keys, come up with a nice chord progression. Then from there, start picking my sounds out and just start layering on top of layers and just using different ideas, different different variations of things, different voicings of chords and everything. And then after that, I, after I, I, I like all the sounds I got and everything, I like how it sounds together, then I start to arrange. That usually will prolong the process of me making a, a song in about, you know, for about three days. And then when I finally have the final arrangement, I may not like it. I may trash it and start over, or I may just, you know, take this song in a different key, or keep it for a while and just let my mind wander and see what I can add on to it. And after that, I begin to mix the song. 
I let my uh, I let all my friends listen to it, make sure they like it. And uh, I got a couple friends that I put on high standards for my music career. And uh, if they like it, they they and I know it's going to know that a lot of people going to like it. But if they don't like it, if they, they they sense me being lazy with something, they're going to tell me to go back and do it again and make it better. So I like to hear what I need to hear, not what I want to hear. You know, we all want to hear, oh, it sounds nice, it sounds nice, but I've had friends just be like, yo, this, this sucks. You cheated your way through this. You was lazy. You didn't do it right. Go back and do it again. You can do way better than this. And, you know, it hurts, of course, but you go through it, you do it again. And, like I said, your best friends, people you made music with, they're always there to make you grow. So, I'm a very big perfectionist. So, that's pretty much my process of making